everybody. This is Fugia Pink 40 and I'm I'm back. Uh my hair's a little different, different color. Um got my orange eyeshadow on, but anyway, this is not about eyeshadow or hair wigs or whatever you want to call it. This is about weight loss and since my last video, I think I, I did lose a couple of pounds, but I've been at this assignment all week and no, no, no. Yeah, I lost six ounces, but the lunches, you know what? I'm not even going to lie. I'm cheating and I'm not following strict protocol and I think I'm on a stall and I think I'm constipated. So all those factors, which are excuses, um, have led me to stop dropping as much. So, you know, I've been on for 11 days and I've dropped like seven pounds, which is good. Don't get me wrong. I love the fact that I'm dropping, but you know, the goal, I'm like four pounds off my goal. So this morning I went to get on the bike upstairs in the, um, in the gym and, um, I only burnt 200 calories, which, you know, it's an effort and it's a start, but I think if I want to pursue my goal and dropping like at least 40 pounds for this round, I'm definitely going to have to pick it up. I mean, like really pick it up. Like maybe, you know, do 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes at night on the bike, um, build up a sweat uh, reserve <laughs> or whatever. And, um, you know, really start focusing on weight loss, especially if I'm going to be um, cheating in, you know, during the day or whatever, but oh, I've had, on Friday, I had this salad. It was a burger salad. Oh my goodness. They just put a burger on, but the bed of lettuce and the sauces. Oh my goodness, the sauces. I know, but you know what? I only, I gained six ounces, which, you know, it was worth it because that salad was superb, superb. But, um, I'm going to have to drink more water and, you know, really strict to pro protocols. So hopefully, maybe I'm going to have to reverse it. You know how some people, they cheat on the weekends and, you know, they're good on the week. I think I'm going to have to do the opposite. I'm going to have to cheat during the week and then on the weekends work out like a man abandoned and then, you know, stick to protocol. So hopefully, like, in three days I can lose, like, five pounds. So I don't know if I'm going to do the apple diet. No, I'm not going to do it. I mean, unless I really start going up, like, I guess two pounds or whatever. No, but I'm, I'm not going up because this is, I would be a fool not to, you know, go with protocol or whatever. So maybe next week I may, um, you know, follow the protocol. Okay, well, anyway, I went shopping yesterday and I went to Sprouts, which my friend in L.A., Terry, she's so tiny now. Um, she told me about Sprouts. She's not doing the HCG, but she has lost a gang of weight. She looks superb. One day I'll show you a picture. Okay, anyway, I brought Bragg's, the um, Brig, Bragg, 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 I think. Well, the seasoning, um, it's organic. Um, it's organic seasoning. And a lot of people have said, you know, that this is a get label to get. And then I brought the liquid stevia, which people have um, told me to get. And then I brought the apple cider. I guess I'm going to use this in my um, apple cider vinegar in my salads. And then I got... I've had the hardest time getting the Melba Toast and I finally was able to get the Melba Toast and it is um, right, I hate my arms look so big. Boop, 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 boop. Anyway, um, it is like right under the roast, rotisserie chicken. So hopefully it may be like that in all the stores, but I don't know. Okay, so here's the garlic chips and they're really good. Um, I compared them to, oh, oh, about 24 chips. I compared them to the Melba Toast, and um, actually they're not bad. They're, they're, I'm just kind of confused. The serving size is about 24 chips. Okay, so for every 24 chips, there's 110 calories, I guess. Okay, well, I won't be, definitely won't be eating 24 chips, so maybe I need to divide that um, by 24 by 110. Okay, you guys do the math. Anyway, so I got those. I got three packs of those because I'm like, you know what? Let me, because I'm, I don't know if I will like the Melba Toast. And these are okay. I mean, you know, whatever. Okay, I didn't get the, the breadsticks. Um, I went to three different stores. Can't, I went to, I'm not going to mention them, but I still couldn't get the breadsticks. So I don't know. It's not worth it. Um, 
I'm just gonna stick with those little things. They're crunchy and they look like little chips. So, okay, but this is what I need to tell you about. This is the sweet leaf, okay? This stuff, this is money right here. This is straight money. That sweet leaf, oh, it tastes so much better than, um, it tastes better than the Safeway Stevia. It tastes better than the Stevia, not the generic kind, but the regular Stevia. That stuff, ooh. This stuff right here, oh my goodness, I was down, I downed like three, drank, down, um, three or four cups of tea, green tea, since I got this stuff. This stuff, buy it, I got it at Sprouts, but um, I don't know where else you can get it. Okay, so that was my grocery HCG haul. Um, I'm kind of happy. I just really would like to get more focus on track for next week because Oh, this week, oh, I love food, and it's just, it tastes so good, and one night I was eating chips, and kind of snaking, I, I, sn I snuck and ate a little cupcake, a little, it was just a little cupcake that, um, sorry, that we, that was, you know, in, in the, um, the samples at Sprouts, a little frosting, whatever, it wasn't worth it, you know, I, I think if I'm going to cheat, then I'm going to cheat with stuff that's worth it you know what I'm saying and that definitely wasn't worth it but you know it is what it is you live and learn so I'm thinking okay if I'm gonna be on this for 60 days I could you know lose 40 pounds if I stay focused now Tom's coming to visit me um, I'm not exactly sure when because it came nine days early so I have to be prepared so I know that I'm gonna go up for um, hopefully I'll be able to go back down, but maybe with drinking with all the water and, you know, my body's changing when whatever, then maybe, you know, I won't go up for maybe three. Um, whatever the case, I'm giving a 20 pound gap or a 20 pound range, which I would like to, I have to lose 40, but if I can lose 60, that's my goal. If I can lose 60, I, this, I would only do one round. And then maintenance. I cannot wait until I go to maintenance. That's phase three, maintenance. Can't wait. And then phase four. Uh, some stuff I look at and I'm like, oh, maybe one day. But you know what? Nothing looks better than being cute and skinny. Mm. Okay, so I went to the. I went to Ross. I love Ross. I know it's a discount store, so I'm not. I'm not to I'm not. I'm broke. Anyway, I went to Ross and I saw dresses in a size two. Size two. I don't think these jackets are gonna get to size two, a size four, a size six, a size eight. And I'm like, one day, one day over the fat pole. Anyway, so hopefully one day I'll be able to get into at least a size six. If I can get into size, my goal is to get into a size two. I don't know if you can see all of this, but um, yeah far from a size two anyway so maybe maybe if I lose 60 pounds that'll put me in a size six 60 pounds you know how much that is okay I gotta keep it moving keep it moving um oh lemon okay so I was putting lemon I was making this smoothie fabulous it was strawberries lemon and the stevia and a little water no ice not water you know what? I think I said this in my other video. It tastes like margarita. Boy, that thing is bomb. Bomb. I mean, it, it's it's filling. Kind of tastes like the margarita without the alcohol. It was just like, wow. Like, hey. Okay, so I got one minute left. Oh, I do have a question. <sighs> do your feet shrink when you lose weight? I would love to get back into a size 10. That way I can buy more shoes. Not that I need any. And those who know me, and I know you don't know that I'm doing this right now, but I know I don't need any more shoes. But a woman can never have too many shoes. Ever. Ever. But I would just like to know, because I know when I had my son 19 years ago, my feet grew. And I'm just wondering. But then after I had him, there was... Anyway, um, I think that's it. Uh, love you everybody and um please subscribe and watch my videos okay bye